We're back with another episode of our podcast, which we haven't got a name for, and we don't want to name it, and we don't give a shit. I've got a name. Go on then. The flagship podcast on this channel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're back with the flagship podcast on this channel. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. Um, the whole reason 99.9 .9 of you have subscribed is this. And we're still holding it down. Two man show. See, so we're still here like six weeks later. We had well, like 15,000 subscribers um, in between this show and the previous one. Um, there was a vintage thing in between it as well, but mostly I think it was down to this. So thank you. Yeah, obviously. And, uh, but who would have thought like six weeks ago we'd still be here? Because remember that <laughs> first one took, it was like two and a half hours and they got 20 minutes out of it. So it was about two months to get you here. We did a, a mega two months show. To get in this morning. The whole, uh, all of the questions you're like, hey, why is Ash not going to talk about Robin Van Persie when he nearly killed him? Did that. You're not even going to see it. They edited the it. The first one was the best one if they could ever see that. It's like safely secured with the Roswell files <laughs> somewhere, never to be released. We had a top FaceTime as well, didn't we? Everything about that show was good. Who did we FaceTime in that one? Uh, oh, that was the... Uh, yeah, we a lot of people. <laughs> we FaceTimed a lot of people. Never going to come out. Anyway, oh Robin God. Van Persie. To be fair, he didn't sue us. Steve, ask, ask what about Robin Van Persie. Do you want to ask it again? Should we... I'd, it's a boring story. It is, yeah. I've completely take the heat out of it, don't yeah. I? So, Sir Alex Ferguson gave the best post-match interview he's ever had and says, you could have killed Robin Van Persie. Could have killed the boy. No, I don't think I could have killed him. Um, but there is a revelation in this, in that you meant it. Yeah, I meant, I've said, I've spoke about it before. It's not a big deal. I meant it. But the thing was... I meant to hit him with the ball, but was surprised that it hit him, if that made sense. <laughs> so I doubted my ability to hit him. And then when it when it hit him, flush, I was like, oh, shit, I've hit him. It hit him. And I was like, oh, I didn't really mean it. It's a bit out of order. Did you say sorry? Uh, I did apologise like later in that season, maybe, in the return. <laughs> the of the well, I didn't on that day. <laughs> I did it on that day, but like another time I did, I was just like, oh. That was a bit out of order, mate. Sorry about that. And he was like, yeah, whatever. And he weren't happy about it. I wouldn't be. It was more just a, a... Just, I don't know. It wasn't like... You ever connected with a shot that well? Never. That's what surprised me. I couldn't do it like <laughs> 10 times. Just, I just about, thought, oh... What is it, about two metres away? Do you know like when you was a kid? You know when you was a kid and they say like, I oh, don't do that. And you just have to do it. The ball was there. His head was there. Foul given, it was like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Woomph. Why'd you do that? I don't know. I did that with, um, with football in the summer holidays. This would have been about 1997. I'm at home. It's a summer holidays. I'm about nine hours deep on Championship Manager 2. Well, oh. we'll get back to that. We'll, we'll get back to that. What? There's been claims this week. They're I think you know what they are. Yeah, they're incorrect, but I okay. know you know the truth. All right, okay. So, yeah, Championship Manager 2. Where you get your scouting reports from. Okay. No, that's not where I get my scouting reports from. Okay, carry on. So, but now you've admitted you play it. So. <coughs> well, I haven't played it in a, in a minute. All right, okay. So, like, I've a full okay, time let's go now. back, yeah. Being 12, I had plenty of time to play it. Okay. Got to the Champions League final with United. And Gianluca Pagluca's had the game of his life. A 10 out of 10 game. Can't score. And then... Juventus go and score on me in the last minute, lose the uh, Champions League final 1 0. What'd you do? I volleyed a ball. Actually, it was a dead ball. So I've just smashed a ball and I've hit um, a vase on the living room windowsill and just sent it right through the main window in the living room. So it's exactly the same. <laughs> you could have killed someone. Never hit anyone as good in my life. That's what I mean. So it was, it wasn't, it was on purpose, but accidental. Accidentally on purpose. No malicious in it. Meant to hit it didn't mean the consequences of what came next. Yeah, it wasn't. But they had all like brain surgeons on a Monday morning on Sky <laughs> Sports saying... It was United though, that's could, what they could do. It, could, could this have happened? And I was like, hang on a second. I get paid to put my head in front of these balls. So what about that? That's probably why I can't remember f*** all. And you remember every, every detail ever about football that's ever happened, especially if it's United. Mm. And I can't remember really the last weekend's games. Look at some of the um, instances this weekend of, of people getting kicked in the head. That didn't go to VAR. Um, 
Didn't see that for them. That's more dangerous than a ball in it, surely. 100%. Surely. But it's just weird that people always go, stay at us, ask, ask. Ask, ask Ash about the, that incident. Well, here's what he said, right? So, as an opposition player, we, there's usually an incident involving United that someone will associate with an opposition player. Was that how it works for you, lot? I think so, yeah. Okay. But do you know what? The, the Man United fans have been... They seem to be all right with me. Yeah, I don't, I don't, ever, I don't ever remember having like a, a stellar game against us. I don't remember ever getting absolutely tatered against us. It was just... Yeah, it's all right. It's not a big deal. But at least we've covered it now. Hopefully they don't cut it out like they normally do. Let's get back to structure. Yeah, we keep so getting told. We keep getting told that we go structure. off structure all the time. But that's the best bits. By the boring f***ers in the office. So, I've got some structure for you. Big Sam has been appointed. For starters, oh my gosh. this made me send my head west a little bit. How would you go for... And also, but the director of football at Leeds as well has, has had the same reaction I've had. How have we gone from Bielsa to Big Sam in 12 months? Like, if you're, as a director of football, surely your job is putting into process things that are going to make you successful under a certain canopy, under a certain philosophy. Bielsa would have been an enormous part of that. And then you go from him to the carnage that they've had in the last 12 months to, fuck it, get Big Sam in. I can see why he's resigned. But Big Sam's come out, and I, I think you'd be fair to say he's backed himself. He said there's no one out there better than me well, in I, football. I, I've got a theory on it, right? He's, he's thinking, he's thought it's my last job potentially and um, I'm going to go into the, to, the, to the interview and just say what the fuck I want. You think he's going, I'll or make some headlines. he trying to distract from the, the actual situation? Could be a Because what he says is factually ridiculously stupid so he said there's no one above me in football I'm better than Arteta Klopp and Pep should we run the clip so they play the clip too many people think that that I am old and antiquated which is no far so far from the truth I might be 68 and look old but there's nobody there's nobody ahead of me in football terms not Pep not not Klopp, not Arteta. So it's all there with me. Um, and I share it with them. They, 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 they do what they do. I do what, do what I do. But in terms of knowledge and depth of knowledge, I'm up there with them. I'm not saying I'm better than them, but certainly as good as they are. Right. <laughs> let's, be, let's have it right now. He's not. Right. You're Here's my issue. Me is. Here's my issue. If you're going to tell Big me Big Sam is, is an it? innovator. Of what? Factual. Of what? Factual innovator. Of what? But it was probably 20 years ago. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. that's what I mean. So he gets this, and I don't like it. Big Sam is seen by a lot of people as this sort of like caricature I've Sean Dyche. this for this. 4 4 2. What don't you like about that? What don't you like about Because I don't think that's the case. What do you think he is? Slick. No, the style of play thing is, is a little accurate. There's at least What's some truth to that. Where's the differences? Because he was one of the first people to get a grip of data. He was one of the first people that looked at strength and conditioning in a massive way and brought that to English football so are you, from okay, America. Sorry, are you saying that like he's... Are you saying he's come underneath Sean Dyche when really Sean Dyche come under him? Because they're both the same. I think he it right. he plays a style of play that's based on percentages in a big way. But I think he did it with science and data to back up what he was looking for. Bosch, Kevin Nolan up front look for knockdowns for players that have actually got a little bit of... Sean Dyche ain't picking JJ Okocha, mate. Right or wrong? Sean Dyche does not find a spot for J a JJ Okocha in his team. Or a Yuri Jorkev. Mm. They were footballers. Yes, the... So, his whole thing was dosh it up front for that big agent, Kevin knock Nolan, to, to knock it down to, to, some, to those to who are going to play. Players. Because he thinks... His defenders haven't got the ability to play through midfield, so we'll just go over it and knock it down and start 20 yard up the pitch. Yeah, but I don't see that. What, so what, where, what, where are we getting at with this? Is, okay, so he's different, a bit different to Sean Dyche, a little bit. I think he's, he's seen as the, he's seen as Mike Bassett, right? For right or wrong. <laughs> he is though, isn't he? For right, yeah. For absolutely right. But I think he's way more innovative than 
than that. Yeah, but you keep saying that and you've just admitted that 20 years ago. What's he yeah, innovating? Maybe, what is he innovating now? But he's not really had that many jobs in the what last did he, 10 years. Okay, so when we was at Everton, what did he innovate? Well, I think you're the expert in that. Cool. Cool. But what, there was nothing new that he was what, bringing, nothing no, in, the, no. in the data, nothing in the nothing, nutrition, nothing. nothing. But what I will say about him is this. He'll probably get the job done. He does do his work. He has a good team with him. We had... We had Craig Shakespeare, Sammy Lee, uh, um, Rylan Morgan, who's top uh, s and coach. So he has a good team with him. He knows what he's talking about in terms of his style of play. And it is very much percentages. Put the ball here this many times. It works out as this. What was he asking you to do as a centre-half? Just smash it in the channel. <laughs> every single time. He was a striker in your team, man. You, see, you asked me a lot of things that I can't remember. It's, it's oh, it's only a teammate you Who played with. Ass. Okay. Was he liked him? And we had Cenk Tosson. <laughs> Hang on. He didn't like I'm just him. Gonna roll this clip. And now that's some silky attacking football from the Premier League eleven. And boys and girls, that is what you call quality. You got to just hold your hands up. There's a Premier League winner in this team. So that's old man Leas playing against Paddock two months ago. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> but this is the thing. So, so as a centre-half, it was like, get it. Well, don't get it. Don't be going and getting it. If you do, for some reason, get don't it. Don't go and get it. As yeah, in... No, no, like, go and get it off a goal kick or nothing like that. Oh, right, okay. But if it, if it some reason comes to you, then put it in like, he'd have like a square, you know, like a, a space where you you have to put it. So I can I can kind of respect. I'm the thinking fact. that's edge of the box half spaces. So he, yeah, he likes between the edge of the box and the, the touch line. Leave it in the grass there, um, which I can understand because everyone knows where it's going. There's no confusion because everyone knows it's going there. So so you can go and get the second ball. So you can go get go win the first or the second ball or whatever. He doesn't mind not winning the first one because he expects his midfield and wingers to win the second ball. Um, but let's get back to topic. One, I don't think he's innovating anything anymore. Two, he'll probably get the job done. I don't know, I don't, I don't know if Top Med leads his fixtures, but he'll, he'll probably do it. Have you seen how tight it is down there? There's like three of them on 30 points. Someone's on 28 points. Not sure who that is off Top Med. I mean, Chelsea's could still go down. No, we're not going there yet. So just hold fire on that. Hold fire on that. Three minutes. Um, but... Talk to me about his comments. I don't understand. We might as well get him sitting here talk shit with us because that's what he just went. I think he watched us talk shit and went, I'm going to have a bit of that. <laughs> I'm going to have a bit of that shit talking. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out the, in the front of everyone is, and say some fucking, what was the word you used earlier? Wibble. Wibble. Klopp's managed the team down at the bottom. Nearly took him down. He also took Dortmund almost down as well. You've had... Arteta's only ever had Arsenal, in which he's come eighth and fifth so far. Yeah. Done all right this season. Yeah. So bull call. And Pep's only ever had Barcelona. Mm hmm Bayern Munich, who he didn't take any further than they already were. Mm hmm And Manchester City with literally unlimited budget. So what's your point? So he's never... You can't ever say so the why circumstances is he, why is he he's talking ever managed. about them then. Why Ask is him, he... Text him, you're supposed to have his number. I don't got his number. You've not got but, his number. I don't got his number. But why, why is he, what I want to know is why are, you, why are you talking about them? Why are you talking about these people that, that collect silverware apart from Arteta? Arteta's won the FA Cup. Yeah, but. <laughs> Bore this year, has he? Sorry, Joe. Uh, <laughs> a little stray bullet there. Um, but why is he going and talking about them? It's ridiculous. He had a straight face. That's what I liked about it. Like he's been deadly serious, I felt. He might have been serious. Well, what's he basing it on? Wibble at its finest. I don't know. Steve Ash, this is the Steve Ash uh, and look, Big Sam show chatting I, Wibble. <laughs> I can't say that he's better than that. The thing is, also, do you know why I know he watched the show last week? Because when you went, fact, I'm better than Frank Lampard, <laughs> he thought, fuck, I'm going to say that. <laughs> then he got a call and he went, remember Steve said that? I'm going to say I'm better than Pep. You're not. Yeah, but I am. <laughs> I, can't, I can't really agree or disagree with that. 
So you can't disagree with that? I can't disagree with it. But you can't agree with it? No. We, we don't know. All right, so you're painting me in the same thing as Sam Aldice here. So <laughs> Sam Aldice <laughs> never had the chance to manage Barcelona. I've never had the chance to manage Chelsea. I've done better <laughs> lower down than Lampard has done. Yeah, but... How do you get on this week? Oh, I'll tell you. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing... Let's not move. Let's not move yet, because I just want to <laughs> clarify the fact that what Sam Allardyce says was f***ing ridiculous. And Did I want you to agree with me. Hell of a job. Me. I want you to agree with me, because I know you like to go against the grain sometimes. I can't agree that he's the he's on the same level as Pep. He said he's, none of them are ahead of him. Yeah. Is that what he said? Or did he say I'm ahead? He said none of them are ahead of me. Yeah. They are. I can't agree with that. But I think he did, he has done a hell of a job. At Bowen. Yeah. Well done. And where are they now? Yeah, good. Well Not done. playing European football. Well, well he all <clears> did <throat> some stuff years ago. He did. I think he sold. I think he had Idega Johnson when he came up from Division 1. This is pre-championship days. Then he, he made a right load of dough selling Heidegger like Johnson. And instead of buying players, now this is something that Pep couldn't get his nap around. Instead of buying loads of players, he just put that money into the facilities. That's how you know he's, he's about it. <laughs> Big Sam, innovator. Bollocks. Whether or not he has a pint of wine, he's just Bollocks. irrelevant. Bollocks, that but is. innovator. Bollocks. But do you know what the thing is? I wouldn't be surprised if Leeds stay up now. Because what he can do. What's your job as an interim manager? It's either arm around the shoulder, change the message, refresh that sort of vibe, or it's coming with structure, right? That's the two games that you can play. Whereas Rio's mate, you've already heard that message. So we're going there. We're going there. Okay. There is Strap up. There is zero structure. And what's happening there? What if they don't win? Like you know what? legitimately, getting, they could. It's getting not silly win talking game. about it. But, <clears throat> but what's happening? Explain it. I can't explain it. That team is so much better than what he's getting out of it. It's unfathomable. Now they ballsed up by buying twenty nine number tens and not a single striker. Big Rom's back there next year. <laughs> <laughs> I can see him getting the job, weirdly. No. Weirdly. No, they're about five seconds away from appointing Poch or Todd himself. <sighs> Todd's going to be on that dugout at some point before the well, end of the season. We've said that. I'd like to see him. He'd <clears throat> wear a cap as well. What do you think? You know, one of them. Like a Tuchel cap. Yeah. And I think he'll be off centre. That's bold. I, but I don't think he means to. It's just Todd, isn't it? <laughs> it'll be off centre and he'll be shouting fucking nonsense. I think. There's nothing else to say about Chelsea. What, what are you supposed to say? Almost feel for them. Lampard came in and did what he said, though. He said Chelsea will not be 11th. <laughs> and they are 12th. Man of his word. I feel for them. I feel Just, for them. I was chatting to Rio about it this the other day, and I was like, I don't even hate him. Like, I have got no... I liked him as a player. I thought he was a great player. Um... Like, he's met my lad and was amazing with him. Wow, and now you're just digging him out. And now you've just dug him out for ages. But there's nothing personal about it. I just think, I have no idea why. I don't know why I get pleasure in seeing him lose, but I do. Yeah. I do, yeah. I have not, and I've got, I, I can't explain it. <laughs> it's bizarre. It's bizarre. <laughs> so he's met your lad, was lovely to your lad, and you get pleasure in seeing him lose. Mm. Is it because he's mates with Rhea? What, like a rib reel about it? Maybe, yeah. No, might, it might be an chat. element of that. Yeah. I, I think I went, toilet had a crap come back and there was like 44 messages and it was just you and Rio going back and forward, <laughs> which was quite entertaining because <laughs> it got to the point where it was like, da 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 and then Rio was just fading, fading, and then he just went, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I got nothing. You can't. There's no defence of it. No, Rio literally did say, oh, I can't. He got, no, he can't. Yeah, he can't. It's his mate, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. Who knows. But what, and then going back to that is, why, wouldn't, why didn't Leeds take Big Sam before Grazia? That was a question I was walking in here today. I thought, hang on. I'll, I'll get it if you want to take him. Like, it's not for me, but if you want to do that, why don't you take him before you... Well, has there been a the bit of to and throwing over it? Because seeing the, the sporting director resign... 
I don't know if it's come out that he's resigned over Big Sam, but he resigned the same day Sam was announced. Probably. Feels related, doesn't it? Maybe he was in charge of that prior appointment and he's like, no, we're not getting Big Sam, but somebody else is above him has, has made it happen and he's gone, right, I'm out. if you're just going to be picking people over me, I'm out the door, if that's what happened. Maybe. So, but what a weird season, because you've got, you've got Chelsea, shambolic, Spurs, we ain't even touched on that yet. But still right in the mix, really. This is why the league's weird. You've got Arsenal. It's it. Business, not won a game since they beat resumed, Chelsea, but business not won a game at the top. You boys got to be happy. And then you've got this mad situation at the bottom where anyone can go down. I don't remember a season being as like mad as, as this one. Liverpool, what's, what's happened to them? Now they're back in it a little bit, but Villa have gone. They're going to finish Villa, fifth. Villa have turned into like prime Barca back in the day with Ronaldinho and all them, man. Unbelievable. Well, you know what happened with Villa? Go on, what? Did you scout some a kid or something? No, they got they got a manager in. Yeah, but so did Chelsea. No, they got a manager in. Oh, so what are you saying? Frank Lampard's a f***ing turd manager. Sorry. No, that was still a correct statement, but Steven Gerrard's a turd manager. <clears throat> he had him a point off relegation. Emery's got him like a couple of points off Is Champions there any League. British managers you like? I like it, yeah. Yeah. Done some stuff I like. Done a bit of innovation. You see what he's done at St. James's Park? He probably has innovated, not like Big Sam. So one of the things he's done, and I like this, is they've um, extended the changing room at St. James's Park because he said any time he was giving a team talk, you must know what it's like. Players are doing the boots, f***ing out with strapping, shin pads, dicking about, might not be on the phone. Like, that's the way it is, isn't it? So he's gone, changing room is the changing room and we have a team talk room. So you've, coming in you focus on the message and then you can go back out so you're yeah. strapping out and he's stuff. very impressive Eddie Howe, isn't he? <clears throat> whenever he speaks and, and the way he conducts himself and his teams are, are normally well, good generally you look at what he's done as a team like you when, one of the reasons that I don't like Frank Lampard as a manager because I think he's got something I see patterns of play when they're in possession when they're out of possession it just looks like he's not even talked to him about it he's just like oh just do what you want who's he got around him Ashley Cole it's funny because it's actually like, cold than who else at Chelsea. It's funny because I'm like, if if it was me, like now I know I I can't nail down everything. I might know some stuff. So if it was Frank Lampard, just coach arriving on the scene in the box, because he's really good at that. Get and he scanned. People. He scanned. Yeah, just like coach he scanned. Just coach that and get someone else who knows how to defend or something. Or to like well, organise team Supposedly Michael Beale was all about with, with Gerrard. He does amazing things with, um, with Rangers, wins the league. The talk was Michael Beale's the, you know, the secret producer of this. Then they, um, then they part. Michael Beale goes QPR, does a mad job. Then he gets took back to Rangers as gaffer. Done a great job on both of those fronts. What's Gerrard done? Nearly f***ing relegated Villa. But both of them are still being linked with the England job after f***ing over it's only Chris gets the ball. Who linked them? Someone. They were like both like in the top five favourites to get the Are job. Frank Lampard and Steven Gerrard? Yeah. Despite absolute... Like, we said this last week, didn't we? Like, if you get... If you're a club anywhere in professional football and you see Frank Lampard linked with becoming your next manager, what's your reaction going to be? No, he's, he's definitely damaged his reputation slightly. Jeez. Do what he needs to do? He needs to get out of presenting, is what he needs to do. He needs to go to Hollywood and go on like how to present courses and just become a presenter because he ain't getting another job. I'd rather get David O'Leary back than him, I reckon. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really He's know. Not a job for what, I don't years, really know years? what to say about <clears throat> about Chelsea and Frank Lampard. Alright, let's move on to Klopp then. So you see Klopp pulling his hamstring. Why, at the why fourth. did we need that? Because I Air don't quotes. buy that he pulled his hamstring. Yeah. I think he got in the fourth official's face, went, not allowed to do that. I'm going to pretend to pull my hamstring and walk off. Do you think that? Well, I think that's... It that. was that Newcastle player that unballed it on the line and then fuck, it went down like they were shot. Remember that? Yeah, but that one from Klopp, if that's what happened, that's I'm, I quite I like it now. I've changed my whole perspective on it. I would like that it if it was my club. The brain. It is sharp, but it's 
Salzre and him and Robertson can both f off. <laughs> what in general? As a rule. Comment section's going off. <laughs> Comment, I can just see it now. Comment like like that's got to be a ban. If I do that on a weekend, I'm getting a ban. I am. So mm. why is the, the top of the game, which meant to be role models, I keep getting told, why are they not getting bans? Klopp, imagine Klopp did his hamstring now. I, I don't know how you pull your hamstring doing what he did. There's no flexion in the hamstring doing that. Unless he tensed up really bad. <laughs> Which he does do, I guess. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know. Richarlison. Don't know. There's a lot I don't know. I'm gonna sit I here. I'm gonna sit that here. Goal. I'm gonna sit here and say <laughs> there's a lot this season that I can't I don't know. I celebrated that goal like Richarlison. And then I had a, <laughs> then I had, then about five seconds later I had to delete a tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Remember our first show when I went, I'm not sure you should be allowed a Twitter account. And you went, why? And you was all offended by it for the reasons like, you're quick on the bu button. I've but just like, watched a 95th minute equaliser. Boom. Get that out there. Get that deleted. <laughs> 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 what are they doing? And it's, you could smell it happening as well, couldn't you? Do you know, there's some things Spurs. that I just can't talk about anymore. One's Chelsea and one's Spurs. I just don't know. Stellini. Jeez. Oh, imagine being a fan of one of them two clubs right now. Imagine being a fan of Spurs anyway. Someone put an interesting comment in, in last week's video and said, I had a bit of a pop at you and, and, the, and Man United fans and went, you'd, you'd take up their season over yours. And I thought, well, let me ask you, would you? Whose season? Spurs? Uh, Arsenal's, Arsenal's. Sorry. Oh, no. No, I don't think you would. What a silly comment that was. You wouldn't, would you? You'd take a trophy in Champions League over... <laughs> now at the, Arsenal, the when they've been finishing eighth recently and won the FA Cup made it all about winning the FA Cup. Football's here for trophies, right? It's all about the trophies, not where you finish. And I can agree with that generally as a rule, right? There are minimum expectations for big clubs that you've got to finish inside the Champions League. That, that's a gimme. So if the season ends and United are third and Arsenal are second, all we've done is both qualify for the Champions League because the points you've got this season don't count to next season. You start on zero next season. Mm -hmm. And you're going to start with a better expectation. People are going to uh, do more homework on Arsenal this season because of how good you've been this season. So like, you're not going to have the same rub of the green that you had. People are going to be more wary of you. They're going to defend no better against factor. you. Bingo. And there's going to be a, an increased expectation because your fan base is f***ing nuts. So your fan base is going to think that you're going to win everything. Next yeah, but season. there's going to be one day when that explodes. Meltdown. Talk about zombie apocalypse. It could be the zombies in Arsenal shirts just just go, just melting down, just dragging legs and just because it's been too much. You can't. The heart rate can't take it. It's insane. Enough. It's absolutely insane. Like if you insane. walk down the street and there's Arsenal fans just pulling a back leg, broken ankle, just with one arm because <laughs> it's been too much for them. I wouldn't even be. I'd be like, oh, Arsenal fan. They must have drew or something on the. I missed it because they they can't keep going like that. You can't. You can't be that high and that low. It's, it's insane. Nuts, it's insane. The, the whoop band must be the popping off the wrists. 200 beats per minute at kickoff. <laughs> <laughs> at <laughs> kickoff. Yeah, so I, I don't think they're going to have the same. And so you take your season, because you're not going to beat City in the final anyway. The fact. So you take what you've got I'm not now. confident we will. You're not going to. I'm still going. Yeah, still going, but, hopeful. Yeah, just for a day And out. I've got a That's chance fine. of... We might do the you're Arsenal not. double this year. No, no, you're not, but... <laughs> anyway, you'd take that over the Arsenal season. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. I'll just watch my team win a cup final this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you'd be happy. I think you, you lot should be happy, to be fair. Looking and what was it. our expectation at the start of the season when we had probably one of our worst squads in 30 years? Mm. And we, the start of our season when we got pumped, you know, Brighton, Brentford, everyone's embarrassed us. And then to come out of that, we finished in the Champions League. We went pretty far in Europa League. We're in the final of the FA Cup. We still might win it. No, you, you've opened league with disappointing, weren't it? Because I think you could have the way we went out was more. Yeah. yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I think you could have had that one. Too many games, you know, thin squad, stretch with too many games. We've done it with all. Like, think about this, right? Going from last season into this season, we lost Greenwood, we lost Ronaldo, we lost Cavani, kept Maguire, <laughs> kept Maguire. We had Anthony Martial, who, who rasped it up in pre-season as he's ten feet. <laughs> rasped it up. <laughs> And then decided, what's that? You haven't got a number nine? I'll be in the physio room if you need me. 
and we didn't need him. We had enough for arsing it up. And he was in the physio room. So look how many look at how we've coped without that. And we brought Valt Vegost in and bless him, he does run a lot. No, well, I'm, I'm going to defend him forever, Vegost. But he's not great, is he? I'm wearing a Vegas if you, shirt. If you had I'm going to get a Vegas If you had to shirt. watch someone go 1v1 with a keeper. Thoughts on Sabitzer, quickly. Tight. I, I like him. Tight. Sign him. I yeah. like him, really like him. Just goes about his business quietly. Yeah, I like does him. a job. When you've got Fred and McTominay as your backups, he's above them. Well above them. I think he's got a great attitude. I like how he battles as well. He's a bit. I'm a fan of him. Yeah, he's didn't know much about him. You would, because obviously you play champ man. But <laughs> I didn't know much about him. Uh, but I do like him. Versatile, great attitude, works hard off the ball, tidy on it. Do you still play championship manager? Not no. for about. Not since COVID, I would say. Oh, so he was then? He was like a full-grown adult playing it then. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh mate, when I was on ops. When you've got a bit of downtime, do 24 on, 24 off. So I, 24 yeah. off was about 23 hours of footy manager. I get it. They, 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 you know what? The, the viewers, they, they nailed it, to be honest. A lot of them went, like, because obviously, you've, you, when you do a video, I do a video of you, you bring your, your army with you. And they go, Ash, someone, someone tell Ash, like, Steve's been doing this for years. Oh, Ash, don't know. Look at Steve schooling Ash about, about Enzo and these people. Yeah. Cool. I didn't know about. I don't know any of them. I don't know any of these young South American. Hey, what players. did I say? I just thought we did a video on it. Yeah, I did know. we do a video? It's on cool. It? I, I got it. I got it. I got the picture. Right, you've done loads of videos on all these players, and I reckon you've probably done loads on loads of shit ones as well that nothing happened about. But anyway, we, by the by, not but many because I did realize, have a look. I did have a look. And if you look at the t- and if you look at the, the timing of the years, what's up with him? <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right? Because he knows you play Champman still. No, I haven't played for a while. Are you okay? Because <laughs> 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 so I thought you was going to say like not since like not since I was about like sixteen. Oh no! You went now like a couple of years yeah, it's ago. Yeah, a couple of years. <laughs> Dude, last time I played, I think it was in COVID. Uh, uh, what are you going to do? Actually, no football. Uh, <laughs> do you know, know what? Do you know what? I'm trying to explain football manager <laughs> to a girlfriend or even a wife. That's not easy, you know. So you're like, this is like, it looks like spreadsheets. It does. And then I don't watch it on the 3D model either. I watch it on the dots. So it's even worse, isn't it? <laughs> so it's like a, a moving tactics board and spreadsheets. You're like, this is like work. Uh, <laughs> it is a bit like work. Uh, Addictive, though. Uh, moving on, how's your week been? Any news this week? Not really. No. Steady Eddie. Yeah, pretty well. No, I went Sports Industry Awards after, after you the did, show yeah. last week. I saw that you um, went out your way to go and ask our mate if he's going to teach us how to play golf. Yeah, he said, well, kind of weren't, didn't really give a to be honest. So you presented him an award? Yeah. What was his award for? Uh, contribution to sport, big one. Has he contributed to sport? Yeah, I had to read out like a little script on the the amount of things, team trophies that he's won in the good teams, valid. But the amount that he's won, I was like, I didn't realise. It was just a big paragraph of things that he's won. So <laughs> yeah, he's contributed a bit to sport. He didn't contribute to, to us though. It's a way else. No, to us. Oh, to us. us. To, oh. to fix the... Are we going there next week? Try. To the range. To the range? Which range? Any. Well, I know George was trying to organise one for today at midnight last night, which wasn't enough time, but... Yeah, so that's why we're here. Again, fine. Um, yeah, so so went the Sports Industry Awards. It was good. To, a lot of big hitters in the room. Congratulations to everyone that won the, the awards. I handed that one out, which was nice. And it was weird because it was like, been there all night. It was the last award. Good night, you know how they go. Loads of awards, people going up and everything. You eat your food, blah, blah, blah. How drunk was you? I had to go. No, nah, not at all. And then... Is that how high his room. voice went then, by the way? That's a lie. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this story, because it's boring. I'm not going there. It's on the I go, rocks. And I hand it out. And then, well done. Say my speech. Nailed it. Call him up. Give him the trophy. He does an interview. Laura Woods is asking him, "Do you want? are you going to play for Wrexham? Basically said, am I f***? Why would I do that? He goes down. So, could go either way. 
I think he was pretty definitive on bollocks. <laughs> like, am I f That was, he, even a roundabout way, he said, not a f***ing chance. What part of uh, Wales is he from? Cardiff. Is he a Cardiff fan? I don't know, you're asking me too much about, about him, I don't really know. We never got round to that. I told you before, we speak about conspiracy theories and UFOs and a bit of footy if we've got a game. What's Gareth Bale's big conspiracy theory? That he's oh, he to? thinks he's seen a UFO. Right. I had my belly rolling one time. Man. He said, no, nah, no, he's dead, being deadly serious. Nah, I swear down. There's a few of us there. Gone. <laughs> you know, deadly serious, man. He goes, and you say Gareth Bale don't drink? He was... <laughs> He said he's looking at the sky, seeing someone go across. Swear, kid you not, he was, he was swears blind it was a UFO. Not like a 747. Couldn't be anything else. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, that's what we used to speak about. <laughs> it's actually brilliant, isn't it? I don't know, he swears down. I would love to do a regular podcast where you get top level footballers in and do not ask a single football related question. I Me think you too. would have a queue of footballers wanting to come on. But in. the thing is, I think we oh, took... the best player you ever played against? Uh, Dad. Yeah. Who was the, what's the, what's the favourite, <laughs> what's the favourite goal you received? Eat shit. Like, no one cares. It's not interesting. Who do you think killed... <laughs> Nah, nah, cut that. I mean, <laughs> <yes>. No. <laughs> Tom, 100%. I'm being no, dead no, as hell. Just beep it, cut. beep it. Just keep it in and beep it. Fuck it out. I don't know. It's going to take me a minute to recover from that because that was the big <laughs> shock. Did you see how long it took to sink in? I thought you was going to like JFK or somewhere. Uh, um, no, 100%. Do you know what you used to always say? You know, doing these the post matches, come on, because they're Why? painful. Painful. I, I, I know I what they're going to ask. Did we speak about this before? I, I don't yeah, know. I said I wanted to go and heckle journalists in press. He's not going to answer. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So anyway, answer, but, you can't, but you can't give anything anyway, can you? Can't say anything because you're going to offend someone all the time. That's how I don't know. How we're still six weeks in, but here we, we're still going anyway. Um, shout out to the team edit, keeping us safe out there <laughs> <laughs> um, in this cancel culture. So anyway. Oh, we always used to go, do you know what, on your last interview, when you know it's your last one, just just drop it. Just do a real one. Do a real one. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, unlucky today. Nah, we're shit. E shit. I was crap. Manager's not up to it. <laughs> Fans were shit. Fans didn't make no noise. And your question's shit. Anything else. But no one ever does it. But I think it would be good. I think we're trying to get to the limit of what can and can't be said. And we I push this it. on a Friday with Jay. We have the brew and we try and go as long as we can. And these people in the comments go, are these going to talk about football? And we're talking about why Nick Cage is the worst actor the world's ever seen. <laughs> By far. The thing is, this is the, this is the problem we have. And this is a problem we've had with this podcast. The fans, anyone that knows me from off the telly or anything, knows me free football. Same as yourself. So they want to hear your take on football. Now, I personally don't want to come in here every week and break down the midweek games because I'm going to have to do that on the weekend. In a very formal way, where I want to come in here and talk about Nick Cage's best film. Oh, it's gone in 60 seconds, but it's not because of him. Why would we call him Nick as well? No, like, like we know well him. enough to call him Nicholas. I know. Nicholas. Nicholas. It's Nicholas to you and me. Who calls a baby Nicholas? Ah, sorry to all the Nicholases out there or whatever. Oh, well, they've not named a baby Nicholas unless they're yeah, no, a now second now generation they're, they're, All Nicholas. their life they've been thinking, oh, my name's sweet, and now they think, fuck, my name's shit. If your name was sweet, you wouldn't have to shorten it. To Nick. Said Steve. To Ash. <laughs> 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 Uh, so yeah, we, we should do that, but I don't think any football is going to come on and, at all, by the way, but definitely not to talk about other things. No, I do. I think mm -mm. you go, hey, come on, we're not oh going to talk God. five seconds of football. No, but the thing is, everyone kicks off, oh, look at this guy, madman, talks about something else. Should be football, football, football. No, fuck that noise. Football, 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 football. What's football. the conversation in the change room half the time? Not <laughs> fucking football. No, not often. Not unless you. Not unless it's around match day. If it's around match day, it's football. Yeah. Oh, there's been a big match that or week. Something. That's but it's mostly the same about as every fucking workplace. Exactly. 
Exactly, yeah. So, I don't know. Do the people out there want to know, though? Like, for let's throw some out there. Do you want to know what Eric Dyer thinks of the Matrix film? Do you? Not specifically Eric Dyer. Why? I'd like to know what he thinks about fan policing and stewarding. <laughs> Um, maybe I want to know what Lee Sharp thinks about voting in the local elections. <laughs> this is such a weird program, that really. <laughs> this is such a weird show. I want to know what R- Romelu Lukaku thinks about the train strikes. <laughs> Do you not? Do you not? <laughs> I'd love to know what yeah, Yap Stam thinks is the optimal tyre pressure in his Jeep. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, a lot of people really like Yap Stam, which I didn't know until the last few weeks. You thought it was me yeah. just having a weird fucking fetish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Yap Stam's the best fucking centre half the league. And seen. like I said, like, yeah, uh, I can't remember what happened last weekend, so I don't really remember all this stuff. He was, was, he was really good, apparently. Yeah, he was pretty everyone, good, actually, yeah. everyone went, yeah, he's, Steve's right again. He's really good. <laughs> you, you being he's a centre half, stuff. him probably I being. Know, I just knew he had a big, massive, aggressive, bald head. Looked like he wanted uh, to do some. Man could play football. Pop it. He could. He, he was wouldn't, literally wouldn't like a, a, a mashup of, uh, of both Rio and Vidic. Oh, so he had the, the, I ain't going back there. He weren't better than either of them. I'm the, not going back no, there. He wasn't better than either of them. He was better than both of them. So he had the the speed of Rio. He had a little bit of ball play, not quite the same level as Rio. And he obviously had the aggressive side that Vidic had. I just want to put this out there that you made me laugh and my eyes watered and I got something <laughs> on my fingers and now my eyes are stinging. So <laughs> Can we give a shout out to um, to our friend that doesn't ring us when he comes to watch Stockport? Um, yeah. On getting in the Hall of Fame this week. Yeah. He's done well there. Why it took, why it took the fifth or sixth round, I don't know. Piss take. He's a first rounder. 100%. He is a first rounder. And it's not even biased because he's our mate. He just is. No, he's he? a first rounder. He just is. He's a, he's a first rounder. There's a couple of people that are first rounders. Terry Henry was a first rounder. Yeah. I, I don't even disagree with the likes of Gareth Barry having like the most appearances being a first rounder. Yeah. That's fine. I think anyone like that should yeah. be a first rounder. Alan Shearer, leading scorer, he's a first rounder. There's a lot of people that are first rounders, but the next 40 people through the door should all be United players. What do you mean now? On account I of didn't us, say no, I, just, I was baffled a bit. Just but On account of the fact we won 13 out of 20 titles. Out. Wayne Rooney's not in there yet. Is he not? <laughs> he is. Is he? I don't think he is. I think he was still I, playing I when it was... I with that, with that. I think he was still playing. What's going on in there. There's a lot of factual evidence going on in that head. I didn't like the voting for this one. How does it work? I don't understand it. Well, they, they give you free people to vote for. So the fans have actually voted for this. Okay. So they've put did Rio. You vote? Did you vote? Uh, I did, actually, yeah. yeah. Uh, and it was hard because it was Rio, Vidic, Carrick, and Andy Cole from the United angle. Maybe even Van der Sar were all up. I think United had five choices, but only three votes. No bias. So you're like, what does United fans vote for? Uh, Chelsea fans could have voted for um, John Terry, Czech, Ashley Cole. I, I don't understand this, right? So uh, <clears> as a fan of a club... Which, which, as I said before, I'm, I'm not. As a fan of a club, are you not allowed to like and vote for and someone from Chelsea? No, you so are. So let's just say, but for how example, many people went, do you think are doing that? If it went Rio, Carrick, and Peter Schmeichel, and then over here you had like Zola, and you loved him, you just wouldn't vote for him because he played for Chelsea. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. Yeah, you just. I guarantee that's what people have done. And you, maybe. But I mean, why, I did though? vote for three United players. Obviously, it's. Just, just appreciate. I don't get it. I don't get it. And I've played football all my life. I don't get it. Why can't you just go top player? To me, one of the people that's a joke that are even... I mean, the fact Rio was on there was a joke. But Yaya Torre still having a like, fucking canvas for votes while Stevie Me sitting in there. First round. Joke. Who should be next in the Hall of Fame? I think Yaya Torre's got a fucking very real shout of being in there. He's got a shout of being in there. I You're think. a big fan of him, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I was mint. Every week I, I can say, as, as a City player, 
Like, there's only a couple of City players that have gone. So where we are, Genuinely. where you're appreciating someone doesn't play for Manchester United, which I'm happy to hear that you have the capability to do that <laughs> and not just be so blinkered. Look, he was a guy that stopped us winning titles. Imagine, you, like, yeah, stand with, that, like, yeah, yeah, in front of him. Oh, that's the stuff dreams are made of for you, isn't it? Yeah, I was a serious, 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 serious. So that gets player. you excited, that, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's class. Andy Cole. Do you know what? The- was it 2014? City win the title. Steven Gerrard falls over and gives them the title. Yaya Torre, I think, had 20 goals. And he might have had a similar number of assists. I can't remember exactly how many assists. He was unfathomably good. Steven Gerrard played here. What? What are you trying to get out? A conspiracy? It's not a conspiracy. It's just that... What, then? He's overrated. Like, there's a compilation that Sky put out, which was a compilation of Yaya Torre just doing Yaya Torre things. And I quote tweeted and said, this is what Sky Sports thinks Steven Gerrard was. <laughs> it's written again. He wasn't overrated. I'm going to throw that out there. No one overrated Steven Gerrard. Oh, no. Everyone overrated Steven Gerrard. You'd have, like, Chris Eagles above him, wouldn't you? No. I'm par. <laughs> Chris Eagles won the league, mate. So who do you think should be next? <clears throat> I, Andy Cole. Andy Cole's got to go in the mix, man. One I of the think. most underappreciated players ever. 100%. Andy Cole's got to go through the door. Yaya Torre's got to go through that door. Does he have stamina yet? Yeah. I don't think he is. Well, that's mad then for you then, isn't it? Yeah, he should have been I think around the, one, the Hall of Fame stuff. I think he's the best we've ever seen in there. But it was three short years, three bam busting years, back to back to back with the trouble. So Andy Cole. So we're going for Andy Cole. Problem is with us talking about who we think should be in there is we forgot who's already in there. Yeah, and your memory about who played past this weekend isn't good. And on you played with that. So this is the thing. Oh, could have killed Robin Van Persie. Well, I had to put my head in front of that many balls. Can't remember half of them. Um, Anyone you played with, do you think deserves to go in? Does Gareth Bale deserve to go in? Because Mm, mm. did he do enough in the Premier League? He was a very, very good Premier League player. For me, no. He did all his work, really. Success was Real Madrid. Yeah, so no, I don't think that he... On the basis of it being the Premier League, No. Which is a bit mad, isn't it? But how long did he do in Madrid? Nearly ten years, eight years, eight years or so. Yeah, I don't know, a lot, and he did a lot clearly because I had to read it out. There was a lot of trophies on there. So, what do you think of Vincent Company being in the Premier League Hall of Fame over John Terry? How many titles did Vincent Company win? Couple, won it? Yeah, I think couple, two, three, two or three, maybe. He's infinitely better defender. Was a better defender than John Terry. Miles better defender. Better all round player. Yeah. Clearly a better coach as well. Not that that's relevant for this, but. Okay. Mm. Not sure. Tough one for me. Not as I'm not as uh, sure of it. Do you want to say there was there's three players City have had, and I argue one that they've still got. In De Bruyne. But was it Mark Hughes brought all of these in? He brought company, and I know that. I don't think he brought was it Aguero. Him? Mark Hughes brought company, yeah, uh, and then got the bullet with the quickness. Right. <clears throat> but company, Torre, and Aguero, unbelievable footballers, the three of them. There's not many other teams that have had players that I'm jealous of, but those are three. That was with you until you said there's not many other teams that I've played as In the prep. Right now, you're jealous of City's whole squad. <clears throat> right now. Yeah, I'm talking about retired players. Okay. Had players. Okay. Not got players. You, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can go with that. Um, where will we go from here? Erling Haaland. Yeah. Uh, City fans are proclaiming the greatest striker the Premier League's ever seen. He's certainly the greatest that they've ever seen, I think. Uwe Rosler. Like I said. Cool. The goat. <laughs> like I said. Okay, carry on. So. Give him his flowers, congratulations. He's done phenomenal this. And, and do you know what? We had a quick look before as well. He's got 35 goals in 108 shots. 
Yeah, he said, do you know what the, the mad thing was is, I did my, I did, I knew about him earlier as well, when he was at Dortmund. Early? Yeah. Because I, watch I watched some YouTube and that, and he looked good. Not even when nah, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer Mulder. was recommending him nah, at Mulder. No, nah, but Dortmund's, that's, a, that's, <laughs> that's, what, that's my claim for that early scouting. I, I found him at Dortmund, yeah, right. and knew he's going to be good. To be fair, no one knew about him when he was at Dortmund. Nah, no that's one, what I mean. No one knew. That's what I mean. So, so I'll, I'll take that praise. <laughs> so I found him at Dortmund, and I thought, he's good. this is going to be the real deal. Then he come, and I was excited, because I was like, we get to see him week in, week out. And then he obviously blew up. And then do you remember when like he didn't score or something? And everyone half went, he's the problem. Half a game. He's the problem. And I was losing my melon because they was going, he's, he's the problem. They was better without him. Or they're better without a number nine. And that's when I just thought, oh my God, so many bells talking all the time, which I might be one of them. I might get paid to do that. But. I think there's a, a case they made that City had a, a more of a dominant possession style without a number nine. But that's obvious. Yeah. Because they've got an extra midfielder. Yeah. So the team that's amazing in possession yeah, with yeah. an extra midfielder, of course they're better. Yeah, yeah makes And they're sense. more dominant. However, he's adding an element. I mean, they've totally changed the way they play. This year to last year is a different style. But this, what about De Bruyne this, crossing game? from the half space to Erling Haaland is, is a problem it's, for anyone. It's, it's so good to watch, isn't it? It's so good to watch. And it'd be so impossible to stop. Not sure. No one's figured that out yet. I like them this Come week. On, Real Madrid. I like them this week. They'd like the flexibility again. I know we spoke about it before, but what uh, you know, good good luck to all the the channels that put the formation up before the game because you got it wrong. <laughs> Whatever one you choose, because everyone plays everywhere and they're all comfortable everywhere, and it's nuts. And how do you stop it? So, what about you doing your scouting report? Let's look at the last six games. I'm sitting. You, yeah, you're doing your scouting report. So let's look at the last six games. Oh, so we've got a plan for 14 possible formations and places that people are going to play. I don't think you can go into that level of detail because your players are just going to get cooked mentally. Yeah, They're going to be watching the presentation going, oh, we're fucked. All right, and so full press them then, like Arsenal did? No. Drop back like West Ham did? Yes, but with better players. Mm. Who? Well, Real Madrid. What do you mean? Real, Real Madrid playing off the back foot. With, I can't wait to see Rodrigo, that game, man. Vinicius and Kareem the Dream Benzema. That's how you beat them. Oh, because I can't wait City, to see that game. It, City are going to push for the halfway to go. Right? That's how they play. The weakness is always pacing behind. Real Madrid have got pace. They've got talent. They've got ability. They've got Ancelotti putting his hands on his hips and doing the one eyebrow thing. That's that's a point straight off the bat. Isn't it? That's, that's one nil Real Madrid. Say. Yeah. You're saying Ancelotti with the eyebrow up One beats Madrid. Pep's. Why has Pep gone to that baggy, that baggy top? That's bothering me a little bit. Really bothering me. Where's it a lot? Because I'm a it? big fan of him. <clears throat> and remember when he used to be sharp, and now he's come with the the, the like the zip. It's oversized. Yeah, I don't know what we're like, doing with it. Where have you found this? Yeah, yeah, and he keeps doing it. Maybe it's because they're winning. And he just wants to keep it on. You know, and it's Pep's thing. lucky jumper. Maybe, but he doesn't need one. Get sharp again, man. Yeah. Pep, that's not you, is it? Leave that nonsense to someone else. Would you like a manager doing the Ancelotti thing with the eyebrow, or would you prefer someone tweaking out the way Pep does on the sideline? Um, I think I'd prefer the Pep one. Really? Yeah. For me. Is it just a load of fucking bollocks yeah, sometimes? Yeah, yeah. Or... No, but it's good, though. It gives you energy. <laughs> you look across. Look across, you think, I don't know what the fuck that means. But I'll just go, oh, yeah, it gets, I'm just going to my Whereas one. Whereas Ancelotti just gives you the eyebrow. Five. Yeah, but that, I don't know what that means. Is it good? Is it bad? Am I playing good? What does he want me to tell the that team? That means you're going to score in the next minute. That's oh, what that means. What he wants me to tell the team, give it Modric. Does that mean, <laughs> that, that's like a, like, a, <laughs> like a secret code to just get, get the ball to Luca now at all times and let him pull strings. Isn't it mad when you look at what players have won when they left Spurs. Yeah. Ericsson. Well, it's not that mad. Is it? It's not that mad. Rich. It's not that mad. Bale. It's not that mad because you look at Spurs. Berbatov. And you go, you know Spurs, yeah. Like, Kyle Walker. A Spurs... Uh, okay. In recent history, why are Spurs such a big club? Because it's everything London-based. It's bollocks. 
Are we going somewhere now? Aren't we? Okay, so what are you saying? You're saying that if you London centric based... media okay. pipes off London centric clubs. Is Brentford class as London? No. Okay. Um, so you're saying that that so my question is is like you've won fuck all for a long time. You've got good players, but you just keep underachieving, and you. Spent a bit and on you're still stadium. classed. As, a well, you're not classed. You are a big. Cl- they are a big club. I don't understand that. London draw, which for some people is a draw. I don't know. I mean, I know footballers earn pretty good money. I think it's safe to say. But even pretty good football money, it must be hard work still trying to find a gaff in London. People are paying a mil for a semi-detached. Probably. I don't know. Just imagine trying to get around the city. That's what I don't understand. Yeah. It's nuts. I got to be at training in four hours. I should have left an hour ago. Do you know what, though? You navigated it well when me and you went through London, went through the uh, underground. You navigated it well. Do you remember that? We did a Vibri 5. It was like a little puppy dog behind you. You knew exactly what line we was on and all that. I was looking at the finger in Victoria. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that's a piece of piss. Is it? You for anyone that's interested in Starky Rio, it's at London Bridge. I don't... I, yeah, it meant nothing to me. <laughs> I don't know. I was just following you. Going, stay, 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 you hold up. to London Bridge. Stay, hold fucking... up, stay, hold up. There's another gate. It's like five stops on the, <laughs> on the tube. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, hold up, there's another gate and you were just bursting through them. I don't mind the underground, but there's no footballers getting on the underground with a boots and wash bag, is there? No, there's not. I mean, I don't know. I've never lived there. It's a nice city. I don't know. I just, my question is with Spurs, what are they all about? <laughs> what are they about? Imagine spending a billion on a stadium that's never going to see a trophy. Yeah, but unless the NFL. They put other they? sports there, though. That's true. So, and maybe some concerts or yeah, some shit. Yeah, Ed Sheeran might be playing. Brilliant. There. Well done, but your football team is fucking stinking out the place. <laughs> What's his name again? To, to the, the manager, get him out of the gaff. Yeah. How's, get him out of the gaff. How's get Ryan him Mason out. get him a job? Not him. He's the other one's gone, isn't he? Stialini. Yeah, he was the... the get him out the whole thing, man. Ryan he should Mason's never, like the oh. interim, interim, interim. Yeah, Ryan Mason's the kind of guy you want to do well, man. Do you know what I mean? Or you probably don't. Because you, you don't, you know what I mean? You're just not don't a nice know. fella. Don't, not... don't care. <laughs> <laughs> could do great, could do shit. I, honestly, what did we do well last weekend? Do you know what pisses me off? Because <clears throat> you go, Sam Allardyce is an innovator and realistically you like him. You're all, you're all over him. I know, I can, I can feel it. You're not saying it, you're all over him. For what reason, I don't fucking know. And then Ryan Mason, you're just not having. Because he's he an innovator. Some, is he an innovator? Fucking innovator. What's he done? <sighs> I'd like to see fucking Big Sam innovate this Leeds team. I can't wait. After these comments, well, I can't wait to see what happened. Then Keep, I, keeps them up. Then I'll say well done. And it won't what if be... he gets them above Chelsea? I like the way you whispered it. Group chat's going to be wild. <laughs> <laughs> if Big if Sam it... gets above Chelsea from this point, it deserves to be wild. We've not had a call off Todd Bully yet, by the way. Unless no, you, haven't, you haven't told me. No, but I think he's just waiting a bit, isn't he? He's okay. waiting to get rid of Frank and then we'll get it. He needs to get his ducks in a row because we might turn him down. Or at least pretend we're going to turn him down. We could, we could nick something somewhere. So, What's Chelsea's if he don't want us. If he don't want us. We've got United last game of the season. Now we're already throwing that one, right? It's going to be 8 0 because we need the goal difference. So that one's fucked. What's the other three games Chelsea have got? Bournemouth. Last. That will beat Bournemouth. The fuck? Bournemouth we can beat gone. Bournemouth. You, Chelsea? Yeah. Oh, if we, are we doing it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah easy. Yeah, we'll beat Bournemouth. Go on. Uh, home or away? Uh, away. Oh, yeah, we'll get that. We're not, not going to keep a clean sheet. Forest. Uh, home. Where's that at home? Home. We're pissed at. City away. Oh. Yeah, I got a point there. What are, we gonna, uh, what are we doing then? We're doing the low block thing with better players. Yeah. Like and we said. Get it to Mudrick. Go. Yeah. Run fast. Run really fast, Mudrick. He's a lot of cheat. You can stay on the halfway line. Just get in behind the Clear gaps. it in that direction. Yep. Run really fast. Yeah, we're going to go big some tactics. Okay. We're innovate. Going to, yeah. So in, we're going to we're innovate. Going to innovate. So we're getting a point at City, losing 8-0 to United. There you go. All right, so we're going to get seven points. Seven points. We're we're we'll keep them safe. We're not, because I'm not a Manchester United fan, so I don't give a fuck about you. You're not safe. What do you need the points for? Who? You're Chelsea. Champions League spot, man. No, United. Chelsea I'm talking about. Yeah, no, but I'm saying, why are you throwing that third, game? Why are you throwing that game? Then we can banter Arsenal fans, because we're only going to finish about five points above us. 
You can't banter Arsenal fans. You can't win. Uh, you can't win banter or arguments with Arsenal fans. No, They'll no, just overpower you. They'll overpower you. Logic there's too and many sense. of them. Not like with, understand. There's too many of them with platforms and screens to <laughs> shout at. They'll overshout you. It's true. The whole reason why the Invincibles versus Treble is a debate is just because Arsenal fans refuse. Go 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 trophy. Go 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 trophy. <laughs> and fucking what size of a kettle? Who gives a fuck? You lost six times that season. We lost three in the treble season and won three trophies. What would you rather do? Lose three and win three trophies or lose six, get your ass handed to you by fucking Middlesbrough and um, win one. Nice one. Who gives a fuck? Very powerful voices they have. I think. Someone said, Robbie said, man, you were finishing seventh. Well, we've got our predictions to look at, but not yet. I think we should do that at the end to see how fucking miles off it we were. There's a few teams I'm off it with. But, yeah, I did have Arsenal in eighth. If you watch the video, I do say, I think they'll probably finish fifth, maybe even fourth. But just to annoy people, I'm going to put them eighth. Cool. Job done. Because you know how many Arsenal fans, when they got, like, top around Christmas and they started to pull away a bit, the amount of Arsenal fans that tweeted me. It was a few. Are they tweeting now? No, not really. Silence. Silencio. I thought so. How quiet has Joel been? Just for everyone out there, Very. in our group chat, I reckon he said two things in the last seven days. Do you? No, I think it was about a month. He said something this morning about filming this. <laughs> and he said something the other day. That's it. Compared to the... Sh- like, f- the, Basically, it was like a stream of selfies of him and that little trophy. Yeah, with glasses on everywhere. For months. But it, yeah, I can't done. wait, Tom. I know you're going to do a good job of this. Definitely doing a compilation of all the shit Joel said. How many times he wore sunglasses? How many times there was a cigar? There was cake involved. <laughs> so when it's like, look, I can't make City win or lose the league. They're probably they was always going to win the league. So you might as well align with that and say, yeah, I want you lot to beat Arsenal because one. Arsenal fans are hilarious. And two, it disarms all the City fans that want to go, hey, look, we won another league. And we go, we fucking wanted you to. Because then you just took them out. And you got Arsenal fans crying because they're not going to win fuck all. And next year, you will be fifth. You think? Liverpool will not be as bad as they've been this year. Chelsea will not be as bad as they've been this year. Newcastle are mm, here to stay. Chelsea could be, could be a longer one, that. Newcastle are here to stay. Yeah. Look, Chelsea are going to have no mm. European football next year. Fact. So, Chelsea are going to do what they did but, under Conte. How are they going to get rid of all these players? Tell me that. Fire sale. Tell me that. Fire sale. You could get some for Stratford Paddock, by the way. We like Obama Young and that. Yeah. Because he's available and they've just got to get him out. So, you should be on the lookout. We can take players So, when you, you speak know. to Todd, because obviously he's going to call soon. I'll I- do it. I want a Bamiyang. Yeah. I'll do the job, send a Bamiyang the other way. He'll probably do it. He's done wilder things. He's definitely done wilder things than that. Patrick. Yeah. No, we've got your club. Don't worry about that. Do you like Manchester? I thought you did. Well, there's a team near Manchester called Stratford Paddock. <laughs> and you're going. What's that? Cheshire League. Division 2. <laughs> <laughs> Not came six this year. Um, <laughs> fuck What's it on? Three hundred fifty grand a week. You yeah. might need to Maybe pull that down by about three hundred fifty fo- grand football. a week. Yeah, just for the love of footy. Yeah. Anyway, that was whatever this is. Is that us? That's us. This is us. We got through. Put a some questions bit. in for us for next week because. What are we going to talk about next week? United are playing West Ham this week. Tell you what we're talking about. Who cares? I'll tell you what we're talking about next week. Uh, our shit Frank Lampard is Chelsea Spurs being a shambles loads and loads and loads about Manchester United loads absolutely like that'll dominate most Hang of the podcast I got a question yap stam David Moyes watched his team I think batter Arsenal in the FA Youth Cup last week I think it was mm-hmm. 5-1 might have even been 6-1 mm-hmm. West Ham well done to the West Ham youngsters Smashed Arsenal. I think he was at the Emirates as well. 5 1. He was last falling over and everything was hilarious. He's had illness this week. He's had all sorts of dramas going on. Didn't name a full bench. 
Why not reward some of the kids that have just won you the FA Youth Cup by sticking them on the bench? Fuck off, Moyes. Um, Shit management, that. Shit management. What reason have you got to not do that? There's none. Yeah. Can't justify that at all. Why am I? Now, you've got all these talented kids that have just won an FA Youth Cup that are going in, trying to renegotiate contracts, and you're going to sit there and go, oh, West Ham, we believe in the youth. No, you fucking don't. Because yeah. you'd have put some of them on the bench. I can't have got no shit. answers for you. No, and he's got no answers either. Shit. See you in the next one. Ciao, everyone.